Hey, how's it going guys? Today we're looking at the Keith McMillan Cuneo and trying to get it to work with Geist 2 inside of Reaper. So this video may not be interesting to anyone that doesn't own a Cuneo or doesn't own Geist, but you may find it interesting if you do have some sort of MIDI pad controller, like the Akai uh, drum pad things. There's a lot of options for those out there, a lot of great ones. This is the one that I have. Please ignore this bandage on my thumb. It's annoying to me as well. So don't even need to mention it in the comments, but I'm sure you will anyways. As far as the setup goes inside of Reaper, it's pretty simple. We're gonna go to the, the MIDI devices and make sure that the Cuneo is enabled right here, enabled and input for control messages is enabled. You don't need to set it up for an output, but you can if you want. Inside of Geist, there are eight engines which you can load up with samples and effects and anything you want, really. Each engine of the eight engines corresponds to a MIDI channel. So engine three is MIDI channel three. So as long as your track is set to accept all MIDI inputs on all channels, it's going to um, respond to the Cuneo sending out different channel messages. Engine one I have loaded up with a kind of a, a, a pop electronic kit. Engine two, very distorted drums. Engine three, some different stab samples. This is all stuff from the included library of Geist 2. The Cuneo, it has 16 pads, a bunch of uh, controllers that can be assigned to things. And to do the assignments, you use the Cuneo Editor, which is one of my least favorite pieces of software, but it's going to be necessary for this tutorial. To change presets on the Cuneo, you press the button at the top left. It will turn blue, and then one of the pads will lit up to show which of the 16 presets is loaded. Right now it's on preset 1. Preset 1 is the lower left, not this one, the top left. I was very confused for years about which order they were in. Turns out that this is number one, not this one. So now you know. So if you want to load up preset two, you press this one. It will flash green and then uh, the buttons will clear. Preset three, same thing. Preset one, and there we go. So what we're looking at here is preset one. We can click on any of these pads and we'll say which note number, um, which what CC um, channel pressure will send out, all these sorts of things. It's a very advanced uh, device, but for this, we just really want to have different MIDI channels with the exact same pad notes being sent out. So right now, preset one I have set on channel one, and this is just one of the built-in presets. I believe it's a preset one that comes with the Cuneo. Preset two, instead of being the same thing, the same channel, but going up 16 notes, it's actually set to channel two. So all I did here was export channel one as a preset. So I exported the preset, and then I imported the preset. Uh, I've got a folder saved here. So factory, uh, drum C1 to D2, D sharp two is the one of the original presets. I'm gonna import that. And so all the channels are on channel one. Preset two on the Cuneo. Again, when we press the top left button, press the number two button, we want that to send out MIDI that's going to make Geist respond with engine two. We just need to set all 16 of these pads to channel two. And that's right here uh, under the pad one option here. So it's pad number changes whenever the, uh, the button is pressed. So I change that to number two. And these other ones, I'll show you how to do a, kind of a quicker way. Still a lot of clicking, but I'm gonna shift click each of these and we'll, we'll be able to bulk edit all of these MIDI channels. So now they're all set to number two. I'm going to save this to save it within the Cuneo editor. And then we're going to press update preset to send these MIDI assignments to the actual device. So when this editor is not running, it will still work. All right, so now the Cuneo editor is sending on channel two when the um, 
number two preset is selected. And it's all the same notes from C36 to D sharp, uh, which is note 51. Sending channel two being received on engine two of Geist. And I'm going to preset one. And there's the engine one responding to channel one. And I've gone ahead and done this for channel three as well. So channel three is my stabs on, on engine three. And so if you use all eight engines of Geist, you can set this up with the first eight presets inside of the Cuneo. If you only use four, like I'm probably only going to use four, so I'm just going to set up the first four channels uh, inside the editor to correspond to the first four engines inside of Geist. I think that's probably enough for what I need to do. And then maybe I'll set up some other presets for different software. But for me, this is working really well. And this has been kind of a breakthrough in um, what I've wanted to do with the Cuneo and Geist for a long time. One other quick thing to show you, um, each engine in Geist can have 64 different samples or slices of samples across the pads. So um, if I press the button on the editor, it looks like this. On the Cuneo, you press it once, it turns green, press it twice. There's a red down arrow and I press it uh, again, then I have a green and a red, and that just shows me which octaves I'm in. Um, it, it just shifts everything up by uh, 16 notes, as long as this bank control option is turned on to pads. So now my note one is 49, press the down arrow, that's going to 33, down arrow again, 17, press it. So it's not lit up, that's the first octave, that's my pad one. So that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Um, please give this video a severed thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. Support the Reaper Blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.